is Andrea. Thank you for tuning in again today. Again, today was a beautiful day. I hope that everyone is doing great where you are today in this world, even though there are so many things going on today. Wow. Anyway, let's get straight to it. So today I want to talk about, was I a fool? <laughs> so the question is, what have I done when I was a love? Was hold on, wait, we're gonna get this right. What have I done when I was in love that I regret and it annoys me when I think about it? Okay. <laughs> so I don't know if it would annoy me, but I married. Two fools. <laughs> and guess what they probably said? <laughs> they married a fool too. Because <laughs> you know, back then, you know, I care, you know. <laughs> I mean, I care, but you know, now that I have grown, you know, I have become wiser and a lot of things I would have done differently. So I got married two times. Married two different people that had just different agendas that didn't match up with mine. And one of them, well, actually both of them were foolish choices, in my opinion. Um, they were like, ooh, I was dumb and probably naive. No, not probably. Naive I was, naive. I don't know, it could have been desperate, lonely. It just makes you think, why did I make that decision? Why did I choose to do those things? And of course you had your family here. Yeah, I told them, I told them you should have listened. Okay, whatever, yes, everyone should have listened. <laughs> but um, I don't believe I regret those things. Now, um, something that I did regret in one of my relationships was act a complete fool when um, I thought that um, something was happening um, in my second marriage. I did a complete fool, and those of you that know my side of the family, my dad's side of the family, Y'all know that when it comes down to it, we can act a complete fool. We can act a plum fool. You know, um, we have no problem getting you told. We don't have no problem coming up to your job and getting things straight. We don't have no problem addressing a situation right then right there and letting you know a piece of our minds so i regret that that would be the thing that i would say would possibly annoy me um when i think about it or you know um that you know i even regret it I, there is a better choice than that well baby you know i wasn't thinking like that at that time and you know as we as we grow and as we continue to experience life on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what's so beautiful about life is that, you know, we go, we go through things and we experience things and we have the opportunity to learn and to make ourselves better and to improve. And so now you ask me about something like that and, and in regards to that particular situation, I have a totally different response now. I would totally be like night and day, you know, compared to then. Because back then, I'm like, okay, who is this hoe you talking to? You know? <laughs> what you say, nigga? <laughs> you know, um, all of that type of foolishness. And right now, all of that is not even called for regardless of what, you know, the, the situation is. If you want to go talk to a hoe, let me talk to a hoe. Guess what? I know who I am. And I know 
where I'm going. And I know where I can be. And that's not with you or you or you if I don't need to be. So that's the space that we need to be in right now. So for those of y'all that are in relationships that are experiencing that jealousy stuff and all of that, you caught up in your emotions and everything, your heart is racing and it feels like it's going to come out of your chest and you know you're so hot that you feel like you're boiling and you can feel yourself you know, perspiring and sweat oozing and popping out and your head is on, your head is hot because you got to let somebody have it. Um, so I know what that's like. And I <laughs> was <laughs> what that was like. So um, that would be my foolish mistakes um, that I advise against today and that's only because i've experienced it and i have chosen to grow from it so you can always do that whatever foolish thing you did when you was in love there's always an opportunity for you to learn and to grow from it so you know what leave me a comment and tell me about something that annoyed you that you regret or something that you learned from that you know you're like night and day on because, you know, even outside of romantic relationships, I was just known for just telling people off, you know, not just going straight to it. But if you came, you know, came up to me the wrong way, then you were going to have it. And, you know, I had that practice since I was about nine years old. So I was a professional. I was an expert, but I cut that stuff out about, I would say about 13 years ago so i've been different since then you know i could have you know continued to perfect it and you know who who knows where that journey would have taken me you know um but definitely not down a good one so um just just look at yourself watch yourself and you know choose to learn from the foolish mistakes that you've made when you were in love we all go through them. We've all, we've all experienced them. So anyway, leave your comments. Tell me what you experienced that you are like night and day on right now. And guess what? Ah oh, never mind. Hold on. Wait. Come back. <laughs> if you want to be notified whenever I release a video, don't forget to ring the bell. And you will be notified every single time I release a video. Anyway, but now. Ah oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Now, I will definitely. Ah